If I click on this increase font size button, then you can see the font size of this text is increasing. And if I click on this decrease button, then you can see the font size is decreasing. So today we are going to create this intermediate level functionality. Welcome to the 10th video of Real World JavaScript series. So here we are using DOM content loaded and it will trigger one function. So first we will grab our element that is text paragraph, decrease button and increase button. And here is our HTML. This is the increase button with ID increase button. And here is another button with ID decrease button. And then here we have this paragraph where we have our text with ID text paragraph. So on our increase button, we are adding one event listener that is click. And here we are taking another variable that is current font size. And here we are applying this parse float to return a floating point number. And then we are using here window. So window is a global object that represents the browser window or tab. And then we will use here get computed style method. And here we are passing this text paragraph because we want to get the properties of this text paragraph. And this null I am passing for the pseudo element that we are not using here. Then we have this another method that is get property value. And we want to fetch here font size. So we have our current font size. We are adding two pixels upon each click and this is how our increase button will work and in the similar way our decrease button will also work and in the case of decreasing the font size here we are using this current font size minus two so it will reduce the font size by two pixels now if you really like these kind of videos then please share these videos with your friends and drop a like and if you need this code then github repository link is present inside the description of this video so here we have our ui